Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Where did we leave off? Well, we had this data that we were just kind of combing through, and it kind of gave us some information about our device. But if we didn't already make those calls that we did previously in the other video, then what we can do is, give me a second here, sorry about that. What we can do is we can alternatively go to the particle um, website where they host their own IDE. So I'll go to particle.build, or it's like, I think build, uh, my apologies. I think it is, once that goes away, build.particle.io. And again, this is going to be a little slow because I'm going through TeamViewer and my internet at my house is not that quick to begin with but anyways um, in this what it shows me if I go to devices it'll show me the device that's currently connected and I have it plugged in right now and I know it is connected to the cloud because if I look at the device it has it's breathing scion so that's a good sign so I'm gonna just copy this device ID that it has right here because I will need this in order to make some more function calls and if you recall in the last video, we made a directory that called node project and we already installed dependencies and we created an app right here. And I'll go ahead and just open that with sublime. And inside of this app, we had some stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything. And what I really want to keep is this require line because it's requiring the library and then it's creating a object that we're gonna start invoking functions on. So what I'll also have open is always have this open whenever you're writing code with the particle. Um, SDK is particle, sure we'll go and draw the script. Is this reference, this docs.particle.io page and specifically this reference right here. So click into the JavaScript and we'll look at the calls. And this video will be specifically looking at calling a function, but before we call a function, I want to go ahead and um, get, attribute, get attributes right here. So what this is going to do is going to list some information about the device. So if you recall, I had right here a uh, device ID that I copied from the site and in particular, I'm interested in this one right now. So I'll go ahead and control V and that's the ID that it has. And I'll also copy this right here and I'm gonna call this function simply by control C. Okay. Now this should work. So the device ID is gonna be not this string that it has right there, but rather device ID and I foolishly deleted the authentication token earlier but this is good because we can also find it in the uh, particle IDE so it's good to understand how to find it multiple ways I guess so if you go back here go to the settings right here and it'll have an access token you're gonna want to go ahead and control just copy the whole thing like a grammar right now because I'm on a confusing layout so I will paste it in there and then save this file now what's gonna happen if we run this well theoretically we should see some information about this device right here such as the functions that it has exposed to the cloud and if you look at this pre-existing code that I have I have these functions and variables existing on the cloud. One of them in particular that I'm going to be looking at is this change color because my particle photon has attached to it a RGB LED and it can turn different colors. So if I go ahead and type in run CMD, open up the command prompt, and then now let's we want to run that app that we have right there, that Node.js app. So I have to first navigate there by doing again. I can see what's in this directory that I'm currently in by typing in dir and it lists everything. Alternatively, if you're on a Linux or Mac, you can just type in ls and you, it'll do the same. And then I'm going to navigate by doing cd, same command on any operating system, to desktop. And then I know on desktop there's this 
directory called node project and that's what I want to go into and inside of there I want to see what's up there's an app.js so I'll do node app.js to run this app and when it runs you see that it lists some information about that device and I can see that it gives me some functions that it has exposed to the cloud and in particular this is what I'm interested in right now because I want to change the color of the LED that I have on my device so I'll copy that function name right there and now I will go back and uh, oops sorry guys and now I'm going to go back into Chrome and let's go look at that documentation again because now that I have a lot of information about the device I want to see how I can make calls to it so let's go up it's going to be a little laggy sorry about that guys okay so call function right there beautiful so like I've been doing before, I'm not, you know, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just copying and pasting and learning how to use the wheel. And that is very valuable. So copy. And we're going to delete this since we had the information that we need. We know that geez. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and delete that line as well. Switch this up with the device ID is again the variable that we have called device ID. The name of the function that we had was, let's see if I had that data saved somewhere. Maybe in the command prompt. Yeah, so the name of the function is change color. Okay. So name is, for now we're just going to put it in there, change color. And the argument I happen to know, if you go in the code that I have written for right here, change color, it's going to use this function change color. So if I go and look at my code and there's a function called change color and you can pass in this string. I'm going to pass in blue because I love the color blue guys so I just want to see blue on my LED right now you know it's gonna make me so happy if this works because I just want to see some blue so the argument that I will pass let's go back to the code is blue and the authentication token that we're using is simply token and I'll save it and let's run this code cross our fingers and let's see what happens So I'm waiting. Nothing's happening so far. So, oh, snap. If I look at my LED right now, it just turned blue. So this function call was successful, guys. And I'm hoping that if you followed this code and you uh, put in your function that is exposed in the cloud along with the correct argument that you're going to get the same results as I do. I'm so happy right now, and I hope you guys are having fun. I'll see you in the next video.